I'm here on this slightly damp day at the lovely Sumner's Ponds campsite in West Sussex to take a look at a very interesting caravan indeed, the Deathless Tourist. Now a little bit of background, Deathless is primarily a motorhome maker, it's a German firm and is Europe's largest motorhome manufacturer. It also though does a decent line in touring caravans. Only one of those ranges is currently available here in the UK and that's the Tourist. It's retailed by Automotive Leisure in Poole and they also sell Ariba caravans and have done so for 10 years. Now on first impressions it's very different to the usual white boxes that fill caravan shows and campsites up and down the country. This model is in an attractive pastel blue but it can also be bought in silver or in grey. The next thing you notice really is that pop-up roof. Now that's quite a rare feature for a touring caravan and this model is denoted by Deathless with the suffix HD at the end of the model name. It's one of two pop-up roof options. The second is an elevating roof and that creates two extra sleeping berths in the roof, a kind of bedroom. That is denoted by the suffix SD. Now there are obvious benefits to a caravan with a roof that you can pop up on site. When you're towing it in transit it's lower to the ground which has better aerodynamic effects and can see an improvement in your fuel economy. It's also rather narrow bodied at 2.1 meters wide or just 7 feet so it really is quite a small caravan to tow behind your car. What else? We really quite like the shape of the van, the rounded roof line profile, we like the rounded front panel and other details such as the heavy duty leg steadies. It also has these very robust feeling finger latches to the external hatches. So now we're inside the 460 DB model. It has a fixed double bed across the width of the rear of the van and a very small lounge up front with facing sofas, a table that clips onto a rail between those two sofas and it has a very basic kitchen and a washroom either side of the van midships. Let's take a look at that pop-up roof in detail. Externally the van measures around 2.4 meters tall with the roof down that is with the roof up internal headroom measures 2.17 meters which is really substantial. It's manual so you have to push it up using this bar here and pull it down using this bar here. Fastens in place with these plastic catches and it has two really big panoramic roof lights. I think it's a really good innovation. Compared to most British manufactured caravans, the equipment levels inside the Tourist are basic to the point of minimal. You have a simple gas only space heater and the kitchen area doesn't even have an oven or grill. What it does have is a hob with three gas burners. There's no spark ignition though, so you'll need to supply your own matches there. There's this square stainless steel sink and there's this 86 litre fridge freezer. No microwave, no oven, no grill, the rest of it is storage only. Now at the rear of the van is that massive double bed. It raises on a gas strut which supports it and keeps it open for when you want to reach inside and pick out all your items of kit. It's also home to a spare wheel and to the fresh water container and there's an external access hatch to access the area too. Now the lounge up front is compact but suitable for two. You can dine around this clip-on table happily. Should you wish to turn this into an extra sleeping berth, it's quick and easy to do. Simply unclip the table, fold it at the knee, reattach that table by clipping it at that lower rail, drop the backrest cushions in, And voila, you have a sleeping berth. And finally, there's the compact washroom. I call it a washroom, there's actually no shower in here. What you do have though is a Thetford swivel head toilet and a decent basin. There are also little shelves for storage and some hooks. And also, with it being a pop-up roof, there's no ceiling. So who is the Debtless Tourist aimed at? It's not aimed at the traditional caravanner who might enjoy rallying or would look to spend 100 or more nights a year in their van, making great use of the onboard facilities. 
there's no onboard shower, there's no onboard cooking. So anyone who bought this van would have to use the campsite facilities. It starts at 18,999 on price, so it's not cheap. You're paying a premium though for a cracking, cool looking caravan. I think it's got a lot going for it. <laughs>